I came to something called the Four Mile House. Uh, and that literally means the house was four miles from downtown Denver. And this place here was actually used um, in the later part of the 1800s. The Pikes Peak Gold Rush started in 1859 and a massive amount of people came to town here. And this was the last stop when people came in on the Smoky Hill Trail before they actually ended up in downtown Denver. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to quickly take a look here because I know they're closed in a few minutes. So I will do the best I can here. It's always nice to see these old historic wagons and I'm glad they saved them. And by the way, you can see a lot of them uh, still here in uh, Colorado if you go up in the mountain the Rocky Mountains and um, well we need to keep in mind people had been traveling here for days or months maybe even uh, the Smoky Hill Trail uh, went from uh, Kansas to Denver and uh, in 1859 they actually built these uh, wooden houses here and they let people come here and rest they probably fed them well with food and so on and so on so people could actually relax a little bit before they actually went into town and uh, this is what we have left and by the way when the railroad came to town in the 1870s um, uh, the importance of this of course went away so it became a farm for a while and then, um, you know, we had several owners, uh, you know, doing certain things with the property here. But right now it's, uh, it's a museum. They have tours and right now it's too late. So I can only see it from, uh, from outside here. But what I can do is to... Uh, well, I might start down here behind this beautiful building here because I see another wagon and those are always nice. By the way, this is the oldest residential house in Denver right now. And here you have it, the Four Mile House erected in about 18... Well, they say 58. They, they, they discovered gold in 58. And they don't know for sure if this is built in 58, 59-ish, like that. Wow, what a pretty place. And I guess they had a well here. I mean, I'm just assuming it's, it's real. Or it was real, maybe. So when these travelers came here, they actually saw this. That is really nice. To come here from uh, Kansas, that, that's a long way when you only had horses. And we have some, um, well, here's the back or side maybe I should say. And I was just going to say that we have some uh, chicken here. And they have a donation station for chickens. How cool is that, right? You can donate. Yeah, you know, I'm going to donate. I'll throw in a couple of bucks. How cool is that? I love, I love these chickens. So let's do, uh, what do I have in my pocket here? Three bucks. My goodness, this is really cool here. Here, here you have it. Chicken donation. <laughs> All right, that's so cool. Hello, guys. How are you? Yeah, I agree. What a cool place you have. All right, so don't forget to donate when you come here to the chickens. Wow, look at that. It's an old stove. 
My God, what a cool place, right? I mean, you could have lived here. It's a little shack, right? You have some artifacts in the background. Some tools hanging on the wall. Unfortunately, no light. So I can't really show you um, how cool this is. And outside, we have a little bell here. We can ring the bell. Wow, that is so cool, right? Let me see, do we have something here in the back, maybe? No, you just could leave here. And here, they, they actually built some kind of underground uh, place. Uh, and, you know, in uh, Sweden, for instance, we used to have a lot of these back in the days. People actually put on uh, potatoes and, you know, other products underground to, to keep it cool. And I guess the English word is uh, root cellar. I didn't know that because I barely speak English. So, but anyway, you actually stored whatever down here and you, you can tell it, it's a roomy place. You can have carrots, meat, maybe meat. Maybe they also stored meat down here. And it keeps everything fairly cool in the, in the summertime. And I think right down here behind these trees here, the uh, Cherry Creek River is down there. It's very small here, I think, but I can't see it from, uh, from this property. And we have a shed and another building, and I'm not sure. It looks newer, actually, so I don't know what it was used for. But this one is definitely more historic, right? Another little shed full of uh, something. Maybe wood. You see some firewood on the side here. And we have something here that looks like a little outhouse. Maybe people uh, went in there to do some small stuff after eating. I, I don't know, but it just looks like it. But this is a nice wagon. It's a big wagon. And you have seen this in all these cowboy movies, right? People are sitting up there. Let's take a look inside if we can. You're sitting here and you, you bring all your stuff in here. And they have solid wheels, but if they break, you would have a serious problem for sure and this is how you actually break it if you want to stop oh look at this now you could actually go in here and sit down and think of life the rain is coming now so I need to hide somewhere let me see if I can go to this wagon here before I'm getting all wet. The lens will be covered with uh, rain. Here's another nice little wagon. And they actually had these uh, comfy springs here. So it wasn't too bad actually because there is no suspension whatsoever on, on, on this. I mean, it's really primitive stuff. But I'm glad to see it, it's really nice. And this barn was used by the blacksmith. And of course they needed that because they had to repair stuff and, and fix, you know, all kind of equipment. Uh, they needed to take care of the horses and make horseshoes. And you can see a bunch of these horseshoes up here. And they have a lot of interesting tools here. And they made a fire here, I guess, and 
they use the anvil to hammer out the, uh, the perfect horseshoes. And of course many other things. So it's definitely a cool historic place. Let me quickly go to the back here. Are they, maybe they stored hay or other things here, maybe wood. Uh, by the way, they could probably also fix barrels, I think, and, and, and these wagons in, in case they broke down, right? They, they have some metal rings up here and I'm not sure exactly what it was used for, but it looks like some kind of barrel rings. Let's take a look here, really quick. Wow, look at this. They have some really nice wagons here, preserved wagons. Look at this one, red wheels, a black upper. This one, I'm not sure, yellow wheels and red wagon. Um, I don't know if this is uh, original or if somebody donated this and they painted it. I'm too close. And it's also too dark in here to really give justice to, to this beautiful wagon here. And they have some stuff here they, they might have used for uh, oxes, maybe? I'm not sure if they use these kind of leather, whatever you call these, for, for horses. But uh, since it was a farm at some point, they, they might have had ox, oxes, you know, basically plowing the fields or whatever, right? And I wish I could tell you what this is, I, I have no idea. And now I'm just hiding here because of the rain. I will do a, a quick run over to that little pig down there and we can take a look. And maybe that will uh, end my little stressed out walk of this place. Hello little fellow, how are you? You look very nice. Do you live here? I'm sure you do. Oh, there is another one hiding in this little house there. Uh, yeah, I like you too. So don't worry, you're my friend. It looks like they had another well here. Because after all, we are close to the river, so there must be groundwater here. We have some nice horses down in this area. I don't know who lives in here. But the old building technique is so relaxing to view, right? And look at the horseshoe above the door. It means good luck. Look at this, we have a couple of sheep here. Or goats, I, I'm not sure. Is this a sheep or a goat? Yeah, you have a lot of wool. You look like a sheep at least. But you have these horns, so maybe you are some kind of goat. I'm not an expert, guys. But I like your little house here. And my last stop would be pretty much right here. Where the horses live. We have a nice horse, maybe you can see that. It's huge. The mother of all horses is standing right in front of us here. It's just so hard to see <laughs> with no lights. But according to this, he lives a happy life in here and I, I, I really believe that. 
Look at the wood here. The building technique from the past. So simple and so efficient. Yeah, we can't really see in here. Some old tools from the past. All right, you got it. The rain is uh, coming here, so with this said, see you next time.